Queen of Miguel and Sir Ad Premier. This one has been creating some waves. Yeah. Queen of me, I can't pull let them down. This is the haters got no love, no love, no love in them hearts. We see them got no love in this world. Many lose them soul and the mind control. We see the haters got no love. A privilege. Yeah, let me just say, um, it's always been a desire. To, to be in Africa, North Africa, Tunisia. When I heard that, um, that I'm going to North Africa on the tour, I was like, what? I couldn't believe it. So I'm really glad to be here in, in the flesh. I'm ready. Um, this is what I do, so I'm ready, pumped up. I had a nice um, experience on the beach. Water is one of my favorite elements, so I'm in my element. Music is therapy, music is healing, you know, and of course music has the message. For me, it doesn't matter what type of genre. Once I feel it, I can deliver, I can sing, I can, I think, um, I can say sometimes I, I consider myself a chameleon because I can I can change my style to fit the genre. But I think it's really a gift. It's really a gift and I give thanks to, to for this gift and to be able to share it. Papa work hard cause him happy find food. Mama say money get you in the mood. Children you get allowance if you behave good but you get a spanking if you want rude. I love hip hop. I love hip hop because I, when I when I was growing up as a teenager, um, hip hop and R and B was the, like the main genre. Um, this, you know, nothing really happens by accident. This this thing that I did with Little Lion, it's, it was just a dub plate, you know. And being able to to DJ on hip hop, it just shows the versatility and it shows the ability to do anything that I put my mind to. Rastafari is a spiritual liberty and reggae music is, is gospel, it's conscious music. So when I started growing my locks, I knew it was reggae. From the beginning, you know, I knew that this was the type of music that I would have to do to, in order to spread the message. Um, well, I haven't had an album in a long time, and I remember, you know, doing my tours in the past, and people saying, "We need an album from you, Queen Omega, and we need an album." So my fans was like thirsting and hungry for an album, and. When COVID hit the pandemic, many um, a couple of years ago, that was a perfect time because the tours were cancelled. I couldn't travel, so I was just at home, and I was like, you know what? This is perfect time to use this off time and just concentrate and just make music. And this is how the album was uh, produced. Hey, hey, hey. Freedom is the ability to live in the highest frequency, in the purest way that we were born to live. So your ability to express in the highest frequency, your ability to connect with one another, you know. Um, because even now that I travel, I realize that there is a language beside the language and we can vibrate higher. There is no reason for us not to connect. Even though we speak different language, we can connect because we are intellectual beings. And I think this is true freedom. With the music, words is power. 
words in itself has power and then when you put words with tones which is music it's even more powerful and this is the effect of reggae music and this is why I love writing and why I embrace being an artist because I understand that this is my contribution to the earth and I'm just doing my part because we all have our part to play you know yeah I just want to say thank you thank you so much and it's gonna be a great show tonight so look out for Queen Omega and hopefully it's not my first time looking forward to visit again